Hey everyone, welcome. Microwave Sam here. Today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to use XAMPP for Windows operating systems. Now, XAMPP is an Apache distribution containing MySQL, PHP, and Perl. XAMPP can be used for Windows, Linux, or Apple. And it provides a bunch of different add-ons that you can extend the usage of XAMPP. Now, XAMPP currently on this download page www.apachefriends.org slash download.html I'll leave a link in the description but you go to this page and it has the download files needed for XAMPP. XAMPP comes in an easy to install executable setup file. At the time of recording there are two versions 1.8.2 and 1.8.3 applying for two different versions of PHP. Now I'll just get the newest and latest version of XAMPP and I'll download over here. Um, so the files pretty big not too big but it's reasonably big and depending on your internet connection how long it'll take 100 megabytes to download but we'll just wait a little while until it's done downloading. For now we can just check on some information about XAMPP and I can talk a little bit about what I know about XAMPP. Now XAMPP for me in layman's terms it's a neat program that you can use to run locally in Apache distribution containing of course MySQL, PHP, and Perl. And it says on the about page that the goal of XAMPP is to build an easy to install distribution for developers to get into the world of Apache. Now Apache is a web server if you're not familiar and the Apache web server allows you to run PHP MySQL properly and I've found in my opinion that XAMPP is a great free software that I would recommend because it's easy to use it provides the functionality that I need for testing on the local host and it's just great and easy program so for now, I guess I don't have anything to say. Um, we'll just skip ahead until this download is done. Okay, so now that XAMPP is done downloading, we'll proceed to the next step, which is installing XAMPP. So you just run that executable file that you just downloaded. It'll take a second, but bitnami comes up. And XAMPP says, it seems you have an antivirus in some cases may slow down. Yes, you continue with installation. Important because an activated uh, or possibly with UAC. Please avoid to install XAMPP to missing. Okay. So, okay. Proceed with the setup. In some cases, I guess the UAC, which is the user account control, can block the incoming request to install the setup but if you had run as administrator sometimes I forget to consider that you might not be on an administrator account so all you need to do is locate that file in case this is this comes as a problem uh, find xamp which is over here and then what you do is you right click and you run as administrator so simple as that now after you find the setup you press next a couple times you'll see that the server comes with MySQL, FileZilla, FTP server, Mercury, Tomcat with the program languages PHP and Perl programming program languages PHP my admin is a nice GUI for MySQL and PHP communication Webalizer I'm not really sure what this that is and fake sendmail I'm not really sure but the essentials, uh, I always leave all of them checked. Um, and you should too, in case you need it in the future. These are just tools that come along with XAMPP. Press next. Now choose a folder to install XAMPP. Should be just your C drive, XAMPP. Folder is not empty, create a new folder. So the reason being is because I had XAMPP before, and all there is is just some security thing. So I'll actually rename my old XAMPP folder 
first of all old so I'm just saying that this is um, an old XAMPP folder that I had and I had not deleted it yet so afterwards oops you can press next bitnami for XAMPP provides free installers so learn about bitnami for XAMPP I guess that's okay but we're gonna uncheck it it's unnecessary press next and next install it's gonna take just a little while and it will install XAMPP for your, your computer so again I'll just yeah I'll just stop the video skip around until after installation and show you how to actually set up the program okay so now XAMPP has finished and it comes up with this thing that says setup has finished do you want to start the control panel now you can proceed by pressing finish you'll start the control panel now I believe there's a conflict between Skype and Apache and the conflict is that they use the same port so you want to make sure that you quit Skype before actually starting the service now the two more important modules are Apache and MySQL so that we can actually go to localhost or the actual um, setup of uh, XAMPP so you'll just begin by starting both Apache and MySQL if they're green and there are no errors over here if it says status change de detected and it says running then you're good to go now next step is to go to your browser and then you type in localhost now localhost will bring you to localhost slash xamp slash splash dot php if you come to this menu then you know that everything is proceeding uh, well so you want to click on the language that you speak and you are most accustomed to so I'll click English and it says that congratulations you have successfully installed xamp on this system now you can start using Apache and corporate okay for open SSL support uh, visit that test certificate okay so the main thing that we want to go to first of all is security um, over here so security and you can see that XAMPP pages are accessible by network for everyone the user root has no password MySQL you know PHP admin is free accessible by network so this can be a problem because if someone gets into your network they can see everything on your XAMPP pages they can see all your database um, information and PHP admin so we want to fix that by going over here to fix the problems for MySQL, PHP, MyAdmin, and the XAMPP directory, simply go click on this link, allowed only for localhost. Now when you click on the link, you come up with these directory protection protocols, which are used for creating password and user. So the user is root for MySQL, but first we want to go down here and then fix the XAMPP directory protection the files that you will actually see when you um, save in the XAMPP directory let's say you you want to test a website on the XAMPP directory well you would go here um, the directory protection would protect that website that's inside XAMPP so I always do user uh, as root and I'll type in a password uh, one of my usual passwords and then you can make save the XAMPP directory by clicking that now after you make the XAMPP uh, directory safe it's it will say it's protected now success all personal data data was saved in um, this directory these two directories and then afterwards you can uh, protect the MySQL section so the super user would be root and then you can also use the same password that you had before and you just repeat the new password and then you click password changing now it says the root password was successfully changed please restart MySQL for loading these changes now we don't have to load those changes immediately let's just go back to security for now and now 
it says are no longer accessible while well, XAMPP pages are no longer accessible by network for everyone MySQL admin user root had is it has a password basically password login for PHP mind admin is enabled now let's just um, let's just get out of this minimize and now let's stop um, the two services and then let's start it over again to make sure that we have all the security running properly now if we go back to localhost uh, you just go welcome status and if you go to security everything seems to be alright while from host localhost host um, slash uh, xamp index.php okay so now um, we're gonna add some files onto the appropriate place now if you go to your local disk you'll see a folder named xamp and you'll go into xamp and you'll go to this folder called htdocs htdocs is what's actually being displayed by localhost like if you were to go to localhost slash index.php it would go to that index.php file now this is how the magic happens so you create a new folder and let's say you were working on a new website and I'll label it called test website and now you go into that folder and then let's say you create a new t like for, as an example a text document called test website now this could also be like index.html index.php but for now we'll just use a text file as an example now I'll write something like this text file contains the test text for xamp now uh, oops spell that wrong oops again and now you just save um, and X out now to go to this file um, what xamp does is if you go to localhost basically localhost immediately goes into htdocs inside xamp's uh, directory so if you go to test website localhost slash test website then you see the contents of that directory see xamp slash at docs consider that localhost is already up to ht docs directory now all you have to do is after localhost write slash test website and then uh, you'll be in the folder of test website and then if you go to um, slash test website dot text you'll see the text file and this works for the index.html, PHP, any type of um, text based uh, little thing. So that's basically it of XAMP. Whenever you're done using XAMP, you can just stop and exit um, the program. And whenever you need to use it, you can just go back into the program. Now, another neat trick of XAMP is um, very useful is PHP. Um, my admin and PHP my admin is basically a little GUI for SQL now you would use your username and password that you set for your SQL um, yeah for the SQL username and password the super user would always be root and the password is whatever you set it to then you press go and then you can mess around with PHP admin now PHP admin uh, we'll we'll get into it later if this tutorial is successful, but um, it allows you to easily create new tables on SQL and then interact with PHP. It's a little nice GUI, as I said before, between PHP and SQL. So that's it for the XAMP tutorial. Um, hopefully it helped you guys, and hopefully you got XAMP working properly. 
Thanks for watching. Please come again for new tutorials.